Hi, after I release my videos on home loan, personal loan, business loan, many people started asking me about Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. That's when we decided that we should come up with a video on Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana and I requested my team to prepare some content on it. And my team, in fact, Sushrut came up to me with four pages of information on Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. And believe me, if I share with you all this information, you will be definitely confused. That's why I have now prepared a simple half page summary of Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. Probably I would take about 15 minutes to explain you Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana in simple, simple words. So that you will have absolute clarity on Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. Those who think Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana is only for poor, it is not applicable to me. And if you are trying to close this video, hold on. This is applicable to you if your annual income is less than 18 lakhs. Which means even if you are earning up to 18 lakh annually, you can get the benefits of Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. I will tell you how. So before I get to Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana, in case if you have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe. Also enable notifications by hitting the bell icon. Also, in case, in case, if you really want to do some good to your friends and family, your relatives, neighbors, colleagues, please share this video with them. Because it's all about money. It, there is a direct cash benefit available to your friends and family, those who are also looking for home loan or house purchase. So, let's start with Pradhan Mantri Awaz Yojana. What is this plan all about? Pradhan, Prime Minister Modi, after the launch, you know, after coming, coming to power in 2014, he decided one of his core agenda is to give housing to everyone. He, he, had, he made a decision that by 2022, there should not be any you know, homeless people in the country. He wanted to provide home to everyone by 2022. But then how is he going to do it? We have seen many housing plans, housing schemes have failed. He wanted to bring in absolute clarity in this. Just that government is taking the ownership of building house for you. Again, that calls for more, more corruption. We have seen in the name of housing for poor, People have made a lot of money, they have, they have looted innocent people, they have, they have looted government exchequer. I think Prime Minister Modi has done an amazing job by coming up with an innovative scheme where there is absolutely no involvement of bureaucracy or, or you know, there is no room for corruption here. It is a plain, vanilla, simple, transparent uh, you know scheme so i'm going to explain you this in very simple way so when they when they decided to provide housing for all they first divided entire population into two number one the urban poor number two the rural poor so for rural poor they have a very different scheme wherein they directly give money to those rural poor once they start building their houses in different stages so i'm not going to discuss that today in this video i will talk about it probably in my next video let me talk about urban poor because today we have a lot of people migrating to cities and most of them live in rented properties so they all are paying a lot of you know in fact major chunk of their income monthly income goes into rent in fact, someone who is earning 10,000 rupee spend 3, 4,000 rupee on rent. So, so how, do, how do you help them? Government has decided to help those people through this very innovative scheme. So let me explain you how, they, how it works. If you are an urban poor, so urban poor as per government's definition, I am so happy to hear this definition. They say income up to 18 lakh, family income up to 18 lakh comes under urban poor, which is an amazing thing. Because earlier, governments used to say, you are poor if your annual income is less than 72,000. Nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. Now, for the benefit of this scheme, government says, if your income is up to 18 lakh, you are eligible for this scheme and they consider you as an urban poor, which is very important because otherwise, all of you will be deprived of this benefit. So this is an amazing, amazing thing government has done. So now, 
under this urban poor government has divided the population into four different blocks four different categories one they call it as economically weaker sections where those whose family income is less than 3 lakh that is called economically weaker section the second one is low income group where the family income is between 3 to 6 lakh number 3 they call it as mid income group 1 and there the income is between 6 to 12 lakh and the fourth one is mid income group 2 where the family income is between 12 to 18 lakhs which means if your family income is above 18 lakh then you are not eligible for it so now for your benefit let me explain you what is family income family income is if you are a family of four members husband wife son daughter in such cases the total income of the family if husband and wife both are earning or husband and the son are earning so all their income will be clubbed and that will be considered as the family income so let me let me start explaining what are the benefits of you know available offered to these four different segments so if you are an economically weaker section person i mean if you belong to ews economically weaker section where your income is family income is less than 3 lakh then number one you can buy a house where the area of the house the total constructed built up area should not be more than 30 square meter if the built up area of your house is more than 30 square meter then you are not eligible for it so they don't really care about what is the value of the property they don't really care about what is the value of the home loan you have taken they care about the only limit they've set is if you are an economically weaker section person and if your income is less than 3 lakh then the 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 built up area of your house should not exceed 30 square meter that's number one if you are a low income group person where your income is between 3 to 6 lakh then your built up area of your house should not exceed 60 square meter if you are a mid income group person where your income family income is between 6 to 12 lakhs then then the total built up area of your house should not exceed 160 square meter if you are into mid income group 2 and if your income is between 12 to 18 lakhs then you can buy a house which has a built up area of up to 200 square meter let me now explain you one by one what are the other benefits you will have so irrespective of whether you are a economically weaker section or low income group which means whether your income is below 3 lakh or 3 to 6 lakh so which means up to 6 lakh income except that there is this the built up area limitation 30 square meter and 60 square meter all other benefits are same so let me explain you the benefit number one so the benefit number one is you will have interest subsidy which means you have purchased a house worth whatever the value three you know 30 lakh 20 lakh 15 lakh or 40 lakhs and you have availed some home loan maybe 80 percent of that or 50 percent of it it depends i mean maybe 15 lakh or 20 lakh now government says if your income is below 6 lakh they give you interest subsidy of six and a half percent six point five percent on the loan up to six lakh which means you have taken the total home loan of let's say 12 lakh but interest subsidy of six and a half percent is available on the loan up to 6 lakh beyond that it is not available which means you might have availed a loan of 20 or 15 they are not stopping you from having a higher loan but they say interest subsidy is available only up to 6 lakh the remaining you can avail at the normal rate so what is interest subsidy the interest which is which is being offered by the bank may be 8 percent or 8 and a half or 9 percent now in that 9%, 6.5% is your interest subsidy, which means effectively on the first 6 lakh rupee home loan, you will only pay 2.5 lakh rupee, 2.5% interest. See how amazingly designed 
Now there is no room for someone misusing. Because otherwise what is to happen, I have seen a lot of people, they have one house, they are trying to build one more. Or I have seen people, you know, taking money from the government to build a house in the, you know, the, though they don't build a house. But here you have to avail a home loan and banks will not give you a home loan unless until you buy a house or build a house. So which means government has made this plan a scheme, a foolproof scheme. There's no room for corruption or misuse, which is very important. So now the next important thing you need to consider here is in case if you are now earning, your family is earning less than 6 lakh, up to 6 lakh rupee home loan you avail, government is giving you 6.5% interest subsidy. So which works out to be about 2,67,280 rupees. 2,67,280 rupees worth interest subsidy will be given to you by the government directly into your home loan account. I'll explain you how does it really work. So in case if you belong to mid-income group 1, then in that case, you have a different benefit. Government says, uh, on the home loan availed, up to 9 lakh rupee home loan availed, you get 4% interest subsidy. If your income is below 6 lakh, it is, it is 6.5% interest subsidy on home loan up to 6 lakh. Here, where your income is between 6 to 12 lakh, on the home loan availed up to 9 lakh, you get interest subsidy of 4%, which means, let's say you have availed a home loan of 30 lakh, but on 9 lakh rupee, first 9 lakh rupee, you get 4% interest subsidy, which means if your current interest rate is 9%, you will effectively pay 5% interest, remaining 4% government is paying you for the entire tenure, 20 years. That's the beauty here. That's very important and I recommend you to go with 20 year tenure for all loans, whether you belong to below 3 lakh income, 3 to 6, 6 to 12, 12 to 18. Go for 20 year because government is giving you benefit till 20. The next thing here is if you belong to mid income group 2, where your income is between 12 to 18 lakh, then government says up to 12 lakh rupee home loan available. The first 12 lakh rupee home loan will get 3% interest subsidy and the rest you will have to pay at the normal rate and the first 12 lakh 3% government will pay the remaining 5 and a half 6% has to be paid by you. That's an amazing scheme. So now, now let me explain you how does this money come into your account. Do you really get this into your savings bank account? How does it really happen? So as you know government is giving you interest subsidy. Below 6 lakh income, 6.5% interest subsidy, 6 to 12 lakh, 4%, 12 to 18 lakh, 3% interest subsidy. Now, now this interest subsidy amount of 2,67,280 is the total value of the interest subsidy, which means you avail a loan, you start paying the EMI every month for the next 240 months, government will start paying that whatever the agreed amount, 6.5%, 4%, or 3%, over a period of 20 years, government would have contributed 2,67,280 rupees. But you never know what may change. So government doesn't really want to keep this on hold and say, make you wait. Instead what it says, 2,67,280 is the total benefit value that they will discount it using the net present value calculation method. And they determine what is the current value of 2,67,280 if it has to be paid to you right today. So 2,67,280 is the total value which government would have paid over a period of 20 years. If they have to pay you right today at 9% discount, it may come to about 2.2 lakh. Now this 2.2 lakh, government will not transfer it to your SB account. Instead, it will transfer it to your home loan account, which means government knows it once they transfer 2.2 lakh to your home loan account your home loan principal will go down which means your interest will go down which means your emi will go down which is a great benefit so irrespective of whether you are earning 3 lakh 6 lakh 12 lakh or up to 18 lakh your family income you have this amazing benefit make use of it and it's easy to apply you can directly apply online on PMY Pause Yojana website. 
and you can register for it make it a point before you apply for home loan in any bank you'll have to tell them that i'm applying for this so that the benefit will come into your home loan account and the banks are taking the responsibility to coordinate with the government department to get you this because the how the urban housing development ministry will you know will coordinate with the bank to deliver you know uh, disburse this money into your home loan account so once you get this money into your home loan account you'll get the confirmation accordingly you can either go back and make changes to your emi or the tenure or whatever that's in your hand so now i wanted to tell you this in simple simple you know uh, way because i never wanted to confuse you i'm sure this information is useful to you and if you can make use of this you will get benefit worth 267280 rupees make use of it and if you if you have not yet subscribed to our youtube channel please subscribe to our youtube channel and hit the bell icon and enable notifications if you feel this use video is useful to you please share it with your friends family colleagues neighbors so they'll also get to gain the benefit of this video and most importantly in case if you need any assistance to get this loan or this interest subsidy or if you want to apply for a home loan please leave a missed call on 0226181611 we will call you back and help you get the best loan and at the end of this video i'm also recommending two best videos which i personally like for you please watch those videos because i want you to be wise and rich thank you so much Thank you.